Uh, okay, in this tutorial, I'll explain about how to use two shapes. Like in this case, I'll using circular one and rectangular one, and I will apply uh, like this. So this one, uh, continuing from our second tutorial, this one actually using. I'm going to use uh, also point attraction, but this in this case, I'm going to use morph to the mean instead of simply morph to the. So the whole overall process is I will select the surface and I will divide it and then I will apply some kind of attracted attraction point and a little bit deformed and I will use more I will use more to the mean and actually I a little bit I'll apply two curves on the surface pattern and I'm going to use scale to reduce down. Okay, so I'll start from scratch. Okay, so uh, so I'll draw everything here. So now I'll start with uh, adding surface here. So I simply using a rectangular using corner to corner so from 0 to 32 inch and 36 inch height so this is my surface so I'll just double click surface and then I'll just simply set one surface for this uh, surface component and I'll, uh, I'll just divide it using divide surface and then you can just use number slider, so I just simply type 10 and also using it for u direction and v direction then you will see that the surface is divided by 10 by 10 or 6 by 6 and after doing this I'm going to use a point attraction to deform this grid so this grid is actually came from the point point attraction I will extract the parameter and I will set one point somewhere in the center and then magnitude, I'm going to use number slider, let's say 0.8. So actually this one you can either use minus number and plus number. So I said minus number, minimum minus 10 and maximum 10. And let's and then when I connect it, let's just see how does it look like. So this one is the same thing with the previous tutorial. So I'll just set it like this. And, and after doing this, actually I'm going to use actually move to the mean. So move to the mean instead of morph to the this one will actually you can use two sets of uh, curve point uh, repeating it not the two points it's a two point and actually you can set two pa uh, two patterns so I'll extract parameter for the first one and the second one then I will draw two curves here one I was going to use rectangular one and the other one a little bit circular one and so we can see the differences. So pattern curve as first one, I'm going to select the curve one and pattern curve next the second pattern curve I use the rectangular one. And if you see this and this one is applied to this way. And if you check the parameter as you see, if you use positive number, you see that the second one actually stay outside and the first curve sitting inside and deformed. If you use minus number, you will see that uh, actually the rectangular one which is second curve sitting near center area and the circular one outside so just you play with this kind of stuff and if you want to uh, replace here that the rectangular one is circular simply change pattern here by deselecting it and after doing this if you want to use it for laser cutter I simply use a scale component and then actually you can just connect the geometry and then we need the center of its geometry so I'm going to use area one I connect uh, curves to geometry and center it to center. And I'm going to use uh, vector. I'm going to use number slider for vector value. And then actually, if you see this one, you can see this kind of changes. So you can use this one for laser cutting or 3D printing. Simply using by uh, by baking it and use those curves for laser cutting, or you can extrude these curves using a solid option. Yes, and you can 3D print these shading devices. Uh, okay, thanks.